you know, history always repeats itself. That's, I think, one of the lines that we always hear. So do you think that's true? Do you think history does repeat itself? or I, I personally think I, I would be the first one to say, yeah, I think it probably does because um, even if you look at something as uh, limited in history as like the Bible, and I don't mean like limited, like in a bad way. I just mean like the Bible represents a certain time length of history in the past, you know? Even if you just look at that text, you see history repeating itself throughout that, you know, time period, right? So, yeah. and then if you just know about history in general, I mean, how many wars have there been? Uh, I think just like common sense tells you, like, uh, how many genocides have there been? Periods where some leader kind of took over, a dictator took over, or like Hitler, or, you know, just different different like leaders who had too much power and the wrong ideas and committed genocide either by not giving people resources in their country or or just flat out murdering them like Hitler did you know I mean a lot of the problems we see in society now that we think are new turns out a lot of those there's still some problems like that in the past I mean yeah there's been I mean, pandemics before you know I've heard that every almost every 10 years there's some sort of recession happening Right. Uh, you know, we had that in 2008, you know, beforehand, we had that happen too. And, you know, it came out, came a little bit late, but, you know, it's also intermixed with the pandemic, but we had a small recession too. You know, history in some shape or form continues to repeat itself, right? You know, maybe in it, it's in a different way or in a different presentation, different. but it seems to... Yeah, it, it seems to have the same elements. We had the internet boom, then the social media boom, and now we're seeing an NFT boom. So it's internet one, two, and three, right? That we're seeing uh, like a cycle, right? You know, there, there's things in history that we see like, oh, innovation, um, how things are yeah. presented. The Industrial Revolution, it spiked in a whole new, like, and then we have the technology revolution now with this, like you said, the cell phone, social media. Like yeah. spikes up, goes down, and now the technology is spiking up now. At the start of every century, we begin to have, you know, a, life. Uh, a, a, a new technological innovation that, yeah, world, world. that reforms the, the whole world. Yeah. Why, though? Like, why do you think history repeats itself? Is it human nature? I, I think that's what it is. And I was going to mention it a little bit at the beginning, but yeah, I think there's, there's an essence for sure that, you know, it's inherent to humans. It's also evolved, right? So that's why uh, that's why I say like, yes, history repeats itself, but it's presented in a different way because you know through culture and through and through beliefs, you know people change, you know, and start morphing into different new new ways of thinking, right? But at the end of it, you know, there's that human essence that that still remains within it. You know, there's always rise and, and falls of, of civilizations, for example. You know, Rome was one of the biggest, you know, empires of, you know, history, you know, but it still, you know, came to, to be destroyed, fell. you know, yeah. you know, fell. Yeah, so it makes me think like, well, why did it fall, right? And I think that's something that we should be looking at right now, especially with, you know, countries having, you know, superpower countries right now, uh, United States, Russia, big countries that, you know, can learn from, from past generations, right? Uh, at least to not repeat the same mistakes. You think by now, after centuries, we learn from our mistakes, but it's like, why haven't we? And, and maybe it does tie back to human nature. What is human nature? You know, like Cain and Abel is an ex the most extreme example. And that that is a metaphor well, I'm not saying it's a metaphor like like in the Bible, but I mean it could be used as a metaphor for things happening now because it's it's about the most. And Jordan Peterson talks about this. I don't want to steal credit, but like talks about how it's like about the most bitter and resentful. It's about resentment building up so much. The bro one brother kills the other brother out of like jealousy and resentment. Mm, uh, that can be yeah. applied to. And that does repeat itself. I mean, it repeats itself all the time. Like yeah. murders, homicides, crimes of passion, uh, school shootings that have been happening recently. That's yeah. a lot of them people think are tied with resentment. The school shooters are resentful of like society, of other people. Who yeah. have what he doesn't, what they don't have, you know. Um, mass shootings too. I mean, riots. Sometimes riots are 
I'm not trying to like group in the same category, but I'm trying to think of like examples of like resentment with the Cain and Abel story and how you can yeah. apply that with humanity. I think like what, what you're getting at is also the aspect of what it means to be a human, right? We, yeah. we have social needs. We want to be accepted. We want to uh, feel loved. And when we, when people love us more than the other, maybe we get jealous, yeah. um, you know, human things that actually happen and, you know, the emotional side, the physical side, you know, the spiritual side, I think that's, that the, those three components are what create a human being and supplying the needs for each one, you know, you know, changes, but, you know, I think that's, that's, uh, that's something that's necessary in each generation, you know, uh, in each generation that needs to be fulfilled in humans, whether that technology changes, whether it's